I'm Denise Austin, and welcome to Fit and Light. Today we're going to target our hips and thighs to really shape the bottom half. And I'll also be talking about the facts on fat. We're exercising from the beautiful Boulders Resort and Golden Door Spa in gorgeous, carefree Arizona. Are you ready for a fabulous workout? Well, let's begin taking a nice, deep, cleansing breath together. Inhale up and exhale out. Wonderful. One more deep, cleansing breath. Think about bringing in all the energy you can. And then let it out. Exhale out any stress that you may have. Wonderful. And let's stretch the legs and begin in a beautiful warrior pose. Do the best you can today. I'm going to start with a wonderful yoga workout. Go right into fat burners. And today we're really going to shape our hips and thighs. And hold that. This is great for the legs. This is one of the best moves, best poses that you could do in yoga for the legs. Because it really strengthens the legs. Can you straighten out that leg as nice and strong as you can? That's it. And now slowly lean down and stretch it over to side angle pose. Hold that stretch. That's it. It's a beautiful day here in Arizona at the boulders. Please come visit. You'll love it here. Pure serenity. You'll feel good. And now slowly come up and relax. Switch your toes and go down into warrior. Think about deepness. How deep can you go? And still keep the legs nice and strong. That's it. Feeling the stretch between the chest. Open up through the sternum bone. That's it. And hold it right there. Wonderful. And if you're into golf, They've got two beautiful championship golf courses here. They're beautiful. We're overlooking the boulders right now. And now let's stretch to the side. Elongate the spine, lengthen the whole back, wake up that spine. Great. Good. Can you get a little lower in the legs? Come on, feel the stretch better. Lengthen from fingertips down to your tippy toes. That's it, great. And slowly come back up, 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 up. Great. And bring your legs together. And I want to give you a good leg stretch. What you're going to do is go all the way down to a forward bend, reaching your fingertips towards your toes. Now, try to keep your back flat and tailbone up. Can you do that? Really reach your tailbone up. Can you feel that stretch? Good. And come down. And now go up again, straight legs. Keep that chest right by your thighs if you can. This is great for the back of your thighs and your back. Good. And relax. And bring one leg straight out. And try to keep your legs nice and straight and chest down. Good. Can you feel that stretch? Now really just relax your neck and hold. Walk your hands all the way through to the other side and stretch the legs that's it stretch hold it there feel the leg stretch in the back of your thighs that's it and now bend the front knee and come all the way through into exalted warrior this is a little different this one the toe is down and the heel is up that's it and switch to the other side feel the length of the spine hold that stretch you're feeling good hold it Great. Go get your shoes on. I'll be right back for Fat Burners. Are you ready to burn fat? Well, let's get started. Begin in a nice marching position. Come on, march it out. That's it. Good. Pump those arms. I want to see those arms pumping. Come on. Use those muscles. That's right. Plus, the muscles that you use closest to the heart is good for you. You want to help condition that heart. So you got to use all those muscles, even the ones around the heart. And the arms are right there. That's why swimming's so good, too. Good. Keep it going. That's the key. Aerobic fitness helps burn fat from the whole body. And we're talking about fat now. Facts on fats. 
And one of the best ways to burn fat is to do aerobic exercise. And that's what we're doing right now. So let's get it started. I want you to point your toes up. Good. Point it up. You got it. Good. Move that body. Great. Good. Work it out. That's it. Good. Work the arms now. Add the arms. You got it. Great. Feeling good. Revs up the metabolism. Anytime you're exercising, it gets it going, raises it up. That's it. Good. Great. There's one thing that I personally do now. I don't eat any foods with partially hydrogenated oils. So check those packages. Make sure you're not eating the foods that have that. Look and read the labels, okay? It's really important. You know why? It's the bad fats, trans fats. They're bad for you. They clog up our arteries. Good. Plus, they're molecules that really can't burn off the fat. So we don't want that partially hydrogenated oils. So check, even check your cereals, check your bread you're eating. Make sure, make, make another choice if you've got something in the house right now with it. Don't eat it. <laughs> That's one thing I don't do anymore. Good. Great. Now lift the leg, lift the leg. Good, good. It's all about eating for better health. And that's one thing you can live without. Good. It's usually in packaged foods. So check it out, okay? Check it out for me. Good. Let's work the legs. Lift them up and over. Good. Lift them up and over. A little more workout. Come on. We're burning fat. We're burning that butter. Good. Two more. Lift them up. Add the arms now. Work those arms. Work those legs. Beautiful. You got it. Use the body. Good. That's it. Go. Two more. Is your tummy in? Keep it tight. Great. Last one. Okay. Take a breather. Inhale and exhale. Wonderful. And inhale and exhale. Let's take a trip to the side here. Good. Now to the other side. That's it. Work that body. Now, I really want you to use your arms. Bring them up and over. Good. Up and over. That's it. Great. Excellent. You got it. You can do it. Good. Wonderful. Move that body. Feel the effects. Don't you feel great? You did it. You're getting it moving. You're here with me. That's the first step. The second step is to get through the whole half an hour. And eventually, maybe you could do the whole hour with me, because daily workout is next. This show is great because we do a lot of Pilates, some yoga, a lot of variety. The next show is a little more weight training with aerobics. So if you do the whole hour, boy, you've gotten all the varieties of fitness. You got it all. <laughs> great. OK, take a breather now. Nice deep breath. Ready? We're going to touch behind. We're going to get down low. We're going to work those arms and the legs at the same time. And touch, and touch. Great. That's it. Good. Move that body. Yes. You got it. Great. Move that body. Yes. Good. Two more, just like that. Good. Now arms open. Open. Good. Chest open. That's it. Good. Better posture. Always think good posture. And bring the legs together now. Good. Bring them together. Great. Working that body. Burning fat. Burning that butter. Good. Actually, olive oil is a little better for you than butter, that's for sure. Good. Olive oil is part of the good fats. Something that we can have. Good. In moderation. Keep going. I'll be right back. Welcome back 
to the beautiful Boulders Resort and Golden Door Spa. We're now going to begin our standing Pilates workout for our legs and buns and thighs. So let's get started. Standing up nice and tall, I've got my chair here handy just to use as a ballet bar. We're going to begin doing a passe, bringing the leg up, opening it up here so you firm up your inner thighs and then bring it behind you. Great, bring it here, take it forward, passe through, and take it back, beautiful. You're almost beginning to feel it in your inner thighs as well as the buttocks. This is great for your hips and thighs. Lift it up, lift it out, and lift it back. That's it, pull in, squeeze the buttocks, that's it, all the way back. Excellent exercise, like standing Pilates, really firming those legs up, inner thighs and forward. This is working the entire thigh area. If you want to reshape those thighs, these are the exercises to do. They really give a beautiful firmness to your legs. That's it. Good. No more jigglies in your inner thighs. Last one. Now we hold it back there, hold it back there. Beautiful, hold it, hold it. Down and lift back up. Down and lift back up, squeeze the buttocks. This is great for the back of those thighs. That's right, no more cellulite back there, come on. We'll firm it up. No more cottage cheese, look. <laughs> we'll get rid of that, come on. Blast it away through these very focused exercises. Two more. Last one, now we hold it there. Can you hold it? Beautiful, hold it, hold it, hold it. You could use your chair if you need it. Great balancing and relax, great. Now let's just switch the chair to the other side or just walk around. Begin in passe, remember it's about the inner thighs. Open this up, great, and take it behind you. Pull it through and in front of you, great. These are excellent exercise. They really help trim the hips too. Good. Feel like you're back in that ballet class. Yes. Great. I was a gymnast, so I had to take a lot of ballet. We are doing the balance beam and floor exercise. So a lot of these exercises are coming back to me. Yes. Especially Pilates. Coming full circle. Years later, all my years of training, a good foundation since I was a kid. Good. Really stretch it through. That's it, great for those inner thighs. Open it up, it's called a passe. That's it, like passing through right here. Hold it back there, that's it. Excellent, this is really shaping the hips, giving that beautiful contour in your legs. You got it, you're looking good. Have those beautiful legs you've always wanted. That's right, come on, you could do it. Firm them up. Last one, great, now hold it right there and hold it up and down, that's it. Your back is nice and straight. The leg goes up and you squeeze your buttocks and down, great. Hold it out there, come on. You can do it. You're feeling it, squeeze the buttocks too. So it really shapes that entire bottom half. Great, two more, you can do it. Last one, hold it up there, now hold it. Can you balance? Just hold it up like an arabesque. That's it, stomach is in, back is straight. The more you practice, the better you'll get. That's it. And relax. Wonderful. And now slowly lift the leg all the way up. Lift it forward. That's it. Hold it up there. Great for the thighs. Wonderful. OK. Now you're going to turn your toes out as if you're in second position in ballet. We're going to go down to plie and come back up. You're going to go down to plie and up. This is reshaping those thighs. Down, great, and up. Squeeze your buttocks as you come up. Is your back straight? Good posture, remember that. Yes, keep that back straight. Great. You're going down, the tailbone's going down, and as you come up, I really want you to squeeze the buttocks, okay? That'll give you that beautiful contour. Now really squeeze inside your inner thighs. That's it, we've got two more. Wonderful, last one. Take it down and come up. Great, bring it across the body and out. Across the body, this is helping firm the inner thighs. That's it, great. Standing up nice and tall, zip up those abs. Come on, zip them up. Pull them in right here. That's it, zip up those abs. Almost feel like you're like zipping up your jeans, really pulling in your tummy. Practice that. That's the way you're gonna get that tummy flat throughout the day.
Good. Last one. That's it. Switch legs. Bring the leg out and across the body. And as you bring it across the body, I really want you to feel that extra squeeze in the center. Yes, yeah, squeeze it. Wonderful. Back is straight. Think tall, like you're coming right out through the top of the head. You're really lengthening. It's all about growing an extra inch. Come on, you could do it. Good. Reach it across. Is your stomach in? Good. Zip up those abs. Great. Just a couple more. It's worth it. You'll look great. Last one. No more jigglies inside here. Come on. One for the jiggle. Great. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Excellent. Okay. Take it down and stand up tall. Just take it down and stand up tall. Wonderful. Just take it down. And as you come up, squeeze the buttocks. Tummy tight. Great. Hold it right here. Keep going. I'll be right back for yoga. Welcome back to the beautiful boulders and Golden Door Spa. Now it's time for our yoga practice together. Let's begin. Take a nice deep cleansing breath. Inhale and take it out and exhale. Great. And now go to chair pose. Sitting back. Hold the pose. Hold the position. Sit back. That's it. Chest is up. Relax your shoulders. That's it. You got it. Now slowly bring your hands together and do a revolving stretch for the spine. And hold that stretch. Twist, twist, twist. That's it. Great. Both feet should be together. Knees together. And come all the way back up. Let me see that smiling face. Excellent. Inhale. And let's go to the other side and exhale it down. Great. And really twist that body. That's it. Get down there. Really open up the chest. Press your hands together. Isometrically press them together. Working the chest. That's it. And gaze off to that side. And now slowly come all the way up. Inhale. And exhale out. Now with one leg behind you, hold it up behind you. Come all the way up and now twist to the side. Twist, feeling a wonderful revolving stretch for the quadriceps, for your back. That's it, and come all the way back up. And to the other side, hold it up. Lift up, lunge back, and now twist to the side. Twist, you can do it. Twist, revolve to the other side. Hold it, open up your chest, press your hands together, and come all the way back up. Wonderful. And now let's practice our pose of the dancer. I love this one. Really helps with balance, helps with flexibility. Really increases the circulation in the whole body. Great for that chest, too. Opens up your chest. Good. And try it with the other leg. You could still use your chair if you need it. And now pose of the dancer. Get the leg up, balance, do the best you can. Every day is a little different. Just listen to your body. Be aware of the changes. That's it. And come all the way back up and relax. Wonderful. OK, legs apart. We're going to really stretch them out now. Turn to the side and lift down into triangle pose. Almost cartwheel down. Stretch your leg all the way down. Stretch your arms and open up. Pull in your abs. That's it. That's it. Just hold it. Doesn't that feel wonderful? Good. Now that you did so many good things for your body, now we got to eat right. Eat the good fats. Did you know that nuts are good for you? They're the good fats. As well as avocados, salmon. It's really good. Those are the great fats. You have the omega-3 fatty acids that are really good for your body. And switch your feet. That's it. And come all the way down. What I try to do in all my books for my eating plans, I try to just give you about 25% of your food intake is from the fat category. 25%. That's what the American Heart Association believes. About 25%. That's good. You need some fats for good skin, good hair, keeping your heart healthy. But remember the good fats. <laughs> Inhale. Keep going. I'll be right back. For great low-fat recipes, log on to LifetimeTV.com. We 
had a fabulous workout today. I'm so proud of you. You did it. We toned the muscles, firmed up our bodies from head to toe. And what a great yoga workout. I'm proud of you. Now that we exercise, we've got to eat right too. So here are great facts about fats. First of all, try to avoid the saturated fats and trans fats. But eat the good fats. Foods such as salmon, nuts, avocado, olive oil, those are the good fats. Also, did you know that calcium helps your body burn fat? So take your calcium supplement and eat good foods with calcium. Stay in shape each and every day with me. Do the best that you can. Eat well. It's all about a healthy lifestyle. Live it. It's worth it. You'll feel great. Stay tuned each and every day with me right here on the Fit and Light Show. But up next, if you want to burn more calories, do my daily workout. You can do it.